I'm here in northeast Queensland, um, just north of Cairns, uh, in a tidal creek estuary that uh, is called Thomas's Creek, and it's part of the Barren River uh, Delta system. And I'm here to look at the mangroves um, and to think about how they interact with changes in the sea. If I do a quick pan, you'll see the relationship of these mangroves behind me with, with, the, with the Pacific Ocean. So as you can see, these mangroves are fringing a tidal creek that's feeding into a main river uh, tributary that then exits into the sea. This is the Coral Sea, and it's part of the Pacific Ocean. It's actually protected a little bit from the worst of the, uh, the, the, the wave energy out there in the Pacific by the Great Barrier Reef, which occurs just offshore. Now, mangroves are very closely related, or have a very close relationship to sea level, in that they are um, tidal environments, they're marine environments, even though they look like forests and so on, uh, and they're very wooded, they are actually marine environments, and they have a very close relationship to the sea, and sea level. Um, if we go back to, to 18,000 years ago, and the last ice age, um, of course, in the last glacial, of course, sea level was a lot lower at that point, you know, well over 100 meters lower than it is today, and so this environment would have been a lot further seaward than, than it is, uh, is currently. As sea level rose in the post-glacial period, this whole system would have been uh, mig would have migrated uh, inland to the foot of the hills that occur uh, behind the coastal plain. But through uh, mangrove colonisation of this uh, coastline, uh, the roots of the mangroves have this this function of uh, uh, trapping sediment. And that sediment trapping had meant that the whole uh, coastal, coastal plain has been able to build up um, through the deposition and trapping of sediment, and so that the, the coastline has prograded from the, um, the hills behind the current coastal plain and prograded seaward to where it is at the, at the present. So in terms of coastal evolution, mangroves have had a very important uh, influence on, the, on coastal evolution and, and, result, and the resulting position of the coastline today through their sediment trapping abilities of their, of their prop roots. Now, that's how we've come to the present situation. But what about in the future? We're concerned at the moment with climate change and global warming that uh, sea level may rise. And indeed, throughout the 20th century and now into the 21st century, we have seen and recorded and observed sea level rising. So what will happen to these uh, coastal environments, these mangrove environments, under uh, sustained sea level rise in the future? Well, a number of studies have been done. Um, and they suggest that what we'll find as sea level rises and the tidal levels in these estuaries, such as Thomas's Creek, uh, behind me, uh, rises, then we'll see uh, the sea invading these, these creeks and forcing the uh, mangroves to migrate inland, so that we'll have this transgression of the mangrove shoreline up these uh, tidal creeks, up the river systems, um, to further inland. So the whole, the whole system will, will migrate inland. And that's probably the most likely um, effect of sea level rise on these mangrove environments. Of course, we also get with climate change perhaps um, more frequent and higher magnitude storms and cyclones in this particular region, which may have an effect on the mangrove environment. But the mangrove environment itself is, is very useful to the coastal communities here in those events, in that they serve as a buffer of that cyclone energy, um, they buffer the cyclone energy and prevent the coastal communities behind the mangroves being um, inundated too much by storm surges and battered by the cyclones. So um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a number of uh, ways in which these mangroves and their future is tied into climate change um, through sea level rise and through their, um, the way they interact with, with high energy storms that are occurring at the coastline. But wonderful environment, they've been produced, they've evolved through the interaction with, with sea level in the past, and they will continue to do so in the future.